Pascal joins me now for a first look at sports. The Bobcats are back in action, and they had a big win a last night. A very big night. win. May have been their uh, best offensive game yeah. of the season, and it's good to see them you know, finally coming around after a little bit of a mm -hmm. winning streak, and now they're having big wins. They're back in action tonight for the second half of a back-and-back -back series against the Grand Prairie Storm. And after dismantling the Storm 7-0 last night, the Cats are hoping to complete the weekend sweep. Matt Schumann has more from last night's game and tees up tonight's tilt. After a 7-0 victory on Friday that saw the Bobcats put up a season-high 51 shots, they also saw seven different players record multi-point games, which was led by the line of Braden Crone, Tanner Dunkel, and Bryce Woodward, who combined for six points. We've uh, just been keeping it simple, you know, not, not trying to do things out of our element and, uh, you know, just uh, you know, chip pucks deep, go get them, you know, battle in the corner and just throw it at the net and, uh, you know, go to the net and with a ready stick and hopefully, uh, you know, puck comes out to you. That's, uh, that's, that's probably been, that's been our model. They're an energy line. I mean, they've got skill, they've got energy, and when they're moving their feet and they're going hard, it can't help but have that line that's at the door ready to go, and that's exactly what we want to do is build off the shift before. And If we have a great shift from those guys, the, the guys at the door have to have a great shift and come out and even and try and build on that. Devin Green was also on top of his game, making 20 saves for his first shutout of the season. And after having his troubles early on, head coach Gary Van Harry says it was nice to see Green back to his usual self. It was very well deserved and, and uh, you know, we talked to Devin and Devin came out for a couple of games just to, to try and get him to work real hard. I mean, he, he relies on his athletic ability and, and he's very good. He understands the game. He sees the game very well. It feels really good. It's kind of a monkey off the back kind of thing. But, I mean, when you have a team in front of you playing like they did tonight, it's... Uh, it helps a lot. Now the Border City Bunch look for the sweep of the storm this evening and not expecting to put up seven goals on back-to-back -back nights. They know they got to be even more prepared playing a storm team that will be looking for revenge. We're going to have to play with a little bit more desperation tomorrow. Loose pucks, uh, winning one-on-one -on -one battles are going to be harder because they know they're going to be a lot more intense. Uh, we've got to continue doing the things that we did well tonight, putting the puck to the net, getting the shots, getting the traffic there. And I mean, we had tremendous success. Puck drop for tonight's game is at 7.30. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports. The Wheatland Football League playoffs resume this afternoon with the semifinal matchups. The Holy Rosary Raiders are well rested after getting a bye last week and we're hoping to punch their tickets to the final. First quarter, Raiders in the end zone. Andrew Kalfas takes the pigskin to Pater from a few yards out. Holy Rosary with an early lead over the Cold Lake Royals. Now the Raiders defense was also solid in this one. Nick Newenman takes the snap but look how fast Brayton Gallery gets there for the sack. Second quarter, the defense keeps coming. Raiders are leading 7-1. Royals trying to get something going, but Jordan Brown runs into a brick wall named Evan Russert on second and goal. He is pumped. Cold Lake would have to settle for the field goal, cutting the lead to 7-4. That was the score at halftime. The Raiders were trailing with under six minutes to play, but scored two late touchdowns to book a spot in the final with a 22-12 win. Now, unfortunately, it won't be an all Lloyd Minster final because the Lloyd Comp Baron season is over after getting shut out 22 to nothing by St. Paul in the earlier semifinal. The coaching staff says the Barons had a handful of chances early, but just couldn't capitalize. The Lions are headed back to the final while they'll try to defend their Wheatland Football League title against Holy Rosary. And on the hard court, the Lakeland Rustlers basketball teams opened up the ACAC season last night down in Calgary. The women are off to a solid start with a 58-31 win over the St. Mary's Lightning. Camille McCurley led the way for Lakeland with 15 points and 5 rebounds. Amanda Carlton and Sydney Plorde also chipped in 7 points and 5 rebounds each. And the men are also off to a great start as they beat up on the Lightning by a 27-point margin. Stephen Jones had a big night on the court with 19 points and 11 boards for the double-double. Travis Blacker finished the night with 18 points and 5 rebounds while Emmanuel Jones 17 points and a pair of rebounds. Both teams are down in Lethbridge tonight, hoping to make it two straight to start the year. The ladies' game tipped off a little while ago, while the men follow that up at 8 o'clock.